Hi, welcome to this video. I welcome you all to my channel all about mechanical engineering. For today's video, the topic of discussion is types of work. In our previous video, that is basics of thermodynamics part 2, we have already discussed what is heat and what is work. So, in today's video, we will discuss various types of work. So, let us start. Before going to types of work, let us have a quick revision regarding heat and work. As per definition, if the energy interaction between system and surrounding is due to temperature difference, then the energy interaction is called as heat and work. The definition says, if the energy interaction between system and surrounding is not due to temperature difference, then the energy interaction is called as work. So, this is the basic difference between heat and work. Now, let us understand various types of works. The first one, mechanical work. Consider the following example to have a better understanding. Suppose we have a body which is at rest. Now, we are applying force to it. On application of this force, the body will start moving from this initial position to a final position here and there is a distance traveled by this body. So, as per definition of work, W is equals to force into displacement. When we are dealing with force and displacement, then the type of work obtained is called as mechanical work. This is our first type of work for today's video. So, mathematically, we can say that W equals to F into D, where W is the amount of work done, F is the force or the effort applied, D is the distance or displacement covered. As we can see from the formula, here, value of work done depends on two factors. The first one is the amount of effort or the force applied and second one, the change, the displacement obtained due to the application of force F. So, in all remaining cases, in various types of works, we always have two factors. The first one is the effort applied and second one, the changing parameter, the change is due to the applied force or the effort. So, the remaining ones. The second one, shaft work. Consider this as an example. We have a shaft which is rotating and you have a F effort that is force applied through a distance R. In order to transmit energy with the help of a rotating shaft, torque has been applied. We have applied torque. Now what is torque? Torque is given by force into radius. This is force and there is a radius that is a distance from the center of the shaft to the point of application. This distance multiplied by the force applied will be equal to torque. As discussed in our previous slide, work depends on two factors. The first is force and second is displacement. So, writing this equation in terms of force, we get force equals to torque upon radius. So, we have two depending factors for force. Force depends on torque applied and radius. Usually, the torque applied remains constant. That means, force also remains constant since R is already constant. Which means, in this given diagram, we can see R is the distance from the center of the shaft to the point of application and it is remaining constant. Also, here it is saying that torque applied remains constant usually means in maximum cases. So, our two factors on which F depends, out of that R is already a constant and usually we keep torque also constant. So, F is a constant. This force acting through a distance which is given by here, the so second factor required for W is the distance which will be obtained as 2 pi R n. Now, how this is calculated? From this point, if you are applying the effort, after rotating this point by traveling a distance of 360 degrees will come to its initial position 
so we have completed one revolution now the distance covered in one revolution is equal to the circumference that is given by 2 pi r and this will be repeated number of times so number of revolutions is n so the total distance covered will be 2 pi r into n now for w we need f and we need d we have both so substituting these two values w will be equal to t by r into 2 pi r n simplifying this equation r gets cancelled and we get w equals to 2 pi n t so this is the amount of shaft work the third one spring work consider this as an example as we know when force is applied onto a spring length of the spring changes that is there is displacement dx due to force f so this is the spring at rest then we have applied a force f onto it and there is a displacement dx and due to application of this force f there will be a final change up to x so the amount of work spent in a spring is equals to f into dx force applied onto the spring and dx displacement that is change in length of a spring in order to determine total spring work functional relationship between f and x should be known so we should know in order to calculate w we should know what relation f and dx or x follows for linear elastic springs f is proportional to x means for applied effort there is a proportional change in length hence w spring becomes k into x what is k here k is spring constant which is depending on the stiffness value stiffness that is a property of spring material and k is related to it and x is displacement due to force f so the value of w will be given as integration kx into dx this x varies from 1 to 2 that is x1 to x2 what is x1 initial value that is initial length of the spring and 2 is the final length of the spring due to application of force so after integrating we get k by 2 into x2 square minus x1 square x2 is the final length of the spring after elongation and x1 is the length before application of force so this is the amount of spring work the next one work in extending a solid rod Consider this example, suppose we have a rod, solid rod with area this cylindrical, this circular area and we are applying an effort F. Suppose a solid rod is under tension, tension means we are having an elongation of this rod due to application of force F, this is the force F applied as shown in figure, then amount of stress developed in the rod is given by because of applying of this force you will be having stress generated in this rod which is given by the formula sigma equals to f by a sigma is the stress and f is the amount of effort applied force applied and area a of this rod we need two factors to calculate w that is f and d so in writing this equation in terms of f it will be equals to sigma into a so we have one factor now the second one due to applied force there will be a displacement dx in the rod hence dw dx is small displacement for which the small amount of work dw will be given as sigma a into dx sigma a is the force and dx is a displacement suppose there is a final change from x1 to x2 because of application of f then the total work done due to change in length from value x1 to x2 will be given as integration x1 to x2 sigma a dx sigma a is f and dx is displacement by this we can say amount of work spent in extending a rod is given by this formula it should be understood that this value will be negative why negative as per sign conventions whenever work is supplied it is considered as negative and whenever work is obtained by the system then it is considered as 
positive the next kind of work electrical work consider the following example suppose there is a system this is a room inside you have fan and the fan is supplied with an electrical voltage using these two terminals here because of this voltage there will be current flowing through this circuit as we can see that electrical supply is from the surrounding coming inside the system so there is an interaction between system and surrounding but this is not mechanical work why because you don't have any force and you don't have any displacement here the fan is rotating because of the current flowing through it for this flow of current voltage is the responsible factor so work is equals to voltage into charge that is n here v equals to voltage and n equals to coulombs of electrical charge now rate of work per unit time will be equals to v into i that is voltage applied and the charge flowing per unit time that is current here i is equals to number of electric charge flowing per unit time that is called as current so here w electrical equals to v into i in general voltage and current both are remaining constant they do not vary with time hence using this as a final formula as an integration 1 to 2 vi into dt we can take out v and i out of integration because they are constant so the final formula for calculating electrical work becomes w equals to v into i integration 1 to 2 dt because v and i are varying with respect to time but if i am keeping voltage and current constant then there is only one variable for this calculation of work and that is time so I am integrating with respect to dt. Now the last type of work that is displacement work. Consider this as an example. Suppose we have a setup, a piston and cylinder arrangement in which there is a gas. If this heated gas is allowed to cool down or it is allowed to expand, then it will be exerting a pressure on this piston and will try to move it outward gas exert pressure on the piston forcing it to move outward the value of pressure exerted will be given by pressure equals to force per unit area so the force exerted by the gas divided by area of piston so forcing this piston in outward direction this is our initial condition and this is our final condition of the piston so here it was and it moves to this writing this equation in terms of f we can say that f equals to p into a pressure into area now due to pressure let the small change displacement be dl small change considering only small change in this displacement dl then the work small work dw will be given as f into dl that is dw equals to pa into dl i have just kept value of f in this now we all know area into length is equals to volume you have an area which is constant and there is a small change dl so there will be a small change in volume which is written as dv so small work obtained due to small change in length will be pdv in order to have complete value or total value of w we need to integrate from volume 1 to volume 2 that is v1 to v2 pdv and this is called as displacement work this formula w equals to integration of pdv is applicable to every closed system if you want to find out work done in any closed system then this is the formula applicable for each and every process you are carrying out on a closed system so this was all about various kinds of work, various types of work we have discussed. It should be remembered that work depends on two factors. The first is the effort applied that is force and second is the change 
which is obtained due to the effort which you are applying so hope you have enjoyed this session thank you for watching this